Do you want to receive credit card payments on your WordPress website? As you probably know, the core software of WordPress doesn't include any payment options. In the case of an e-commerce site, you would install the WooCommerce plugin, which supports payments via different methods. But there are times when you run a website that is not an eShop, so you haven't installed the WooCommerce plugin. However, you may need to get paid for a service or product you provide. Thus, the best way to achieve that is to design a page with a form that promotes your service or product, and at the bottom of the form, ask for the credit card details. Since you are watching this video, I guess this is the case for your online business. So in this video, I am going to show you how to do that by using only one plugin, which is called Fluent Forms. Although there is a free version that provides great functionality, today I am going to use the premium paid version, which supports payments. If you like the solution and you want to purchase the Fluent Forms premium plugin, I'll leave the link in the description below. It's an affiliate link, so I may receive a small commission if you purchase it. There is no additional charge to you. This helps me continue to create the free content that we publish. In the description below, I will leave the timetable, so you may want to skip some parts of this video and go directly to the part that is interesting for your needs. So let's get started. My name is Nick, and I am on the team at WPGoPro.com. We assist you with improving your WordPress skills so you can make more money for yourself, your clients, and your business. If you haven't already, please subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Also, give the video a thumbs up so Google knows it was helpful to you. Let's get started with the video now. The first step is to install the free version of the Fluent Forms plugin. So I am starting here from the plugins section. As you can see, I have already installed both the free and the paid versions, but I am going to show you now how to install them. Click Add New. Now search for Fluent Forms. It's the one here in the top left row. Mine says Active. But in your case, you have to install it and then activate it. Now for the premium version, open up a new tab in your browser and type the URL on screen, https colon slash slash bit.ly slash 3twpnom. You will be redirected to the Fluent Forms page where you can click on pricing. You have the option to get it either on an annual subscription or for life. Now, click to buy the single site license. You are now redirected to the form where you can complete the purchase. Upon completion, you get an email with a link to download the plugin, which comes in a zip file. Now click to upload the plugin to your website. Drag the zip file and drop it inside this area here, then click the button Install Now. OK, now go to the Global Settings of the Fluent Forms plugin. We want to enable payments, so the first thing is to click on Payments here on the top menu bar. Now click on the green button to enable the Payments module. In this section, I am supposed to provide some information related to my business and upload my logo. So this is what I am going to do. Now, click on Payment Methods. The first method to enable is Stripe. So check it here. We have the option to enable either the test or the live mode, or both, and I am going to go with both. Before that, I want to show that I have already opened my Stripe account in another tab. Back to the plugin settings, I am going to connect the plugin with Stripe in test mode. So click Connect with Stripe. I have two Stripe accounts, so I have to select which one I want to use and then click Connect. It takes a few seconds, and the connection is made. Time to connect to the live mode as well. The process is the same, so switch to live mode and click the button. The connection has been successfully completed. Let's now enable PayPal payments. Click the checkbox. Type in the email address of your PayPal account. Now click to save the PayPal settings. That's all for the sandbox mode. Let's now do the same for the live mode. Before I go, I just want to make sure I have saved the settings for both Stripe and PayPal. I am also going to leave the Stripe payment in test mode. 
Okay, now it's time to click on New Form and create our form. As you can see, the plugin provides a number of templates to use, which is good as it helps to save time. Specifically for payments, there are four templates available. They are good for selling a physical product or service or getting a donation. However, I will choose to start from a blank form just to show you how easy it is. So click Create Form. In this area, you design your form. On the right hand side, there are all the available fields you may want to use on your form. These are the general fields, the advanced fields. This is the container which helps add columns to your form. And finally, the payment fields, which are related to payments. So let's start designing our form. I am going to add the name field, then the email field. From the section with the payment fields, I am going to add the payment field to the form. Now click on this little pencil to go to the settings of the payment field. I can show the products in different ways, so I like the radio button. I am now creating three options for a consultation service. The options are. 1 hour consultation at a cost of $100. Consultation 2 hours with price $180. Consultation for 3 hours at a price of $210. Now click here to make this field required. I am changing the label of the field to read select the service you want to purchase. Now I am changing the submit button to place the order. Save the form and if I want, I can also change the style of the button. I can change the color, its size, or the alignment. So I made it green and I am saving the form again. Now click on the button Preview and Design. Okay, this is what the form looks like in live mode. As you can see, using the option in the right column, I have some style templates to select from. It is a cool feature, and especially if you select the custom template, you are able to make even more customizations to the form. For example, to change the background color in the input area or the color of the text in the placeholder area. Again, you can customize the forms button with more features. Okay, I am going to leave the form as it was and I will just click to save the changes. Back to the form designer, I just want to give a name to our form. I renamed it Payment Form. Now click here to copy the form short code. Let's now create a page for our form. Click to add a new page. I am giving it the name, Consultation. Click on Publish. Click the plus sign and search for the short code block. Paste inside the form short code and update the page. Click here to view the page in another tab. OK, the page for selling the consultation service looks fine. Now let's go back to the dashboard. Click on All Forms in the Fluent Forms Pro section. Click here to edit the payment form. Now click to go to the form settings and integrations. In this area, you see the message that returns to the user after submitting the form. I am going to modify the message so it reads, Thank you for your purchase. We will get in touch with you shortly. This message returns to the user on the same page where the form is. If you don't like this option, you may prefer to return the message to another page on your site or even send the user to visit a custom URL. In this case, I am going to leave the default, which is to the same page. Further down, there are some options regarding the form's layout and some scheduling and restrictions. For the sake of this demo, I am going to leave the default values. So click to save the form. In the payment tab now. The currency is US dollars, which is fine. The transaction type is set to products or services, which again is fine. For the customer email field, I am choosing the email as this comes from the form. The same applies to the customer's name field. I am choosing the form's name field, which provides both the first and last name. I am leaving the customer address field empty as I don't have a matching field on the form. 
click to save the changes. Now go to the email notifications tab. I am going to enable the default notification, which sends an email to the administrator each time a form is submitted. This blue icon is for editing the notification. I am changing the name to make it more meaningful to the administrator by adding the words consultation purchase at the end. In the body, the default is to send all data, but if I want, I can pick any specific short codes by clicking on the green button here. Click to save the notification. Now I am going to add another notification for the user. So click the plus sign. I am naming it notification to user. I am choosing the form's email field in the send tip field. I am also modifying the message in the body section. From the available short codes, I am going to the payment details and I am going to choose the payment receipt short code. Apparently, this is going to return a receipt to the user, and we are going to see that later in the testing that follows. Save the notification. It's time to take our first test of the form. So I am pretending to buy the service using a test email account. The confirmation message returns to the same page as expected. The user gets an email with the payment receipt included in the body. Now back to the dashboard to make another change to our form. Click here to go to the editor. I am going to add the field payment method to the form. This will give the user the option to select one of the available payment methods. So Stripe and PayPal should be there at the bottom of the form. Save the form and let's return to the live website to test it again. Reload the form. As you see, both payment methods are there. So, this time I am going to select PayPal as my method for purchasing three consultation hours. I am clicking on place the order and on the screen I get a warning message saying I am redirecting to PayPal. So here I am ready to make the payment by logging into PayPal. I am not completing the transaction now. Instead, I am going to make another test transaction and this time I am going to choose the Stripe payment method. I am using the test credit card details and I am placing the order. Let's go now to the Stripe dashboard. As you see, I am in test mode and I went to the payments tab on the top bar menu. You can see that the transaction I made a couple of minutes ago is already here. Now back to our WordPress site to the all forms tab. Click on the entries link under the payment form. Here are all the entries created by submitting the form. We are able to view the details of the last transaction by clicking the blue icon here on the right. So this is another way to view the transaction from inside your website. Also, the user gets the receipt in his mailbox. Back to the All Forms tab I am going to show you another cool feature. So click on Settings on the Payment Form. Now click on the Landing Page. Enable the form in Landing Page mode. This will make the form ready to be used as a landing page, which is good if you want to use it as a sales funnel for selling anything you like. This is the designer tool for customizing the landing page. Click to save the page. As you can see, the plugin has created the landing page and produced a URL for calling it. Let's see how the landing page looks live. I think it looks cool and, with one to two touches, may look even better. So I am going to add some text and a picture to the top part. Let's reload the page to check how it looks now. Very nice, indeed. I hope you found this video useful as I showed you how to accept payments using a form on your WordPress website. I also showed you how to create a landing page that accepts payments. If you liked this video and you don't want to miss my weekly videos related to WordPress and business online, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. Also, leave your comments below. My name is Nick, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have fun with it till next time, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace and health.